the uranium shipment, and the space pirates. Problem. A uranium shipment from one of Jupiter's moons, Callisto, to Earth consists of a freighter rocket ship loaded with uranium and a fighter escort rocket ship disguised as a freighter. Space pirates are known to be lurking on one of the two asteroids, Pallas or Hermes. The pirates suspect that one of the rocket ships is a disguised freighter. Therefore, they may either attack the first ship or wait in hiding for a second ship. The commander of the uranium shipment can send either ship by the Pallas or the Hermes route and can send the fighter either first or second. If the pirate attacks the fighter, the pirate will be destroyed. If the pirate attacks the uranium ship, and the fighter has already passed or has taken the other route, the pirate captures the uranium. If the pirate attacks the uranium ship and the fighter is taking the same route and is behind the uranium ship, the pirate is destroyed, but during the battle, the pirate destroys the uranium ship. If the pirates don't attack, there is no combat. I asked George for permission to construct this circuit using his kit of original parts. He graciously consented. To preserve the kit's original wire, I obtained a new spool of the same gauge and color. There's about 30 feet of it under there. A story with switches. The story is controlled by five two-position switches. This affords 32 unique input scenarios, each of which is mapped to one of four outcomes, represented by the row of light bulbs. This simulation shows the circuit cycling through all possible states and outcomes. GENIAC Project 23, the Uranium Shipment and the Space Pirates. This clunky antique exposes the interactive story for what it truly is, a Stapleton cosmos in which all possible outcomes are objectively real and exist simultaneously. Two years after GENIAC was released, physicist Hugh Everett proposed this as a model of quantum reality in his theory of the universal wave function. Stapledon imagined it. Borges and Bradbury described it. But in 1955, more than a decade before Kino Automat, and almost 20 years before Langston, Crowther, Woods, and Adams, Edmund Berkeley was the first to realize and market a computerized, interactive narrative. A story electric. Truly a potential literature.